Aloha, my name is Lisa Webb and I'm coming at you from Nashville, Tennessee, where I am a singer and songwriter and honored to be an ukulele player. And I'm so jazzed to be announcing the release of my brand new EP, which is called Songs in the Key of Uke. And I have to send a big shout out to Ohana Music for not only thinking that this interview would be a great idea, but for inspiring the whole process because they sent me these beautiful, beautiful instruments to play. I'm honored to be an Ohana artist. Thank you so very, very much, Ohana. I'm having just a blast playing your instruments. So Leigh and the team at Ohana came up with some great questions for me to answer about the recording process. And the first one was, what inspired you to make this recording? And I have to say, well, the first thing is the ukulele itself. What a great little instrument. I know we all love it. It's just got a a perky little, wonderful, incredible, sweet voice. Uh, And I've been so drawn to it. Uh, Becoming an Ohana artist has been my honor. And they sent me these incredible instruments to play. This particular one is the Baritenor, the BKT 250G. got a beautiful voice for recording. I can't say enough good about it. It's just so comfortable to play. Another instrument that's been so inspiring is this incredible baritone ukulele. It's called the Marcy Markser. Uh, It's a BK35GC and it has the most incredible voice. I've just have it all over the recording. Uh, really enjoyed playing it. Could play it all day, and quite frequently I do. So uh, that was part of my process. And these instruments inspired an entire new batch of songs. Uh, as I mentioned, I am a songwriter, and um, I've done some other recordings in the past. This is a follow up to my first ukulele recording, which was called You Happy. Uh, and that came out last year. Uh, I've done a lot of other recordings. I have a gospel CD, uh, a jazz CD. I have, crazily enough, uh, CDs for pet lovers, a dog and a cat CD. So I've had a lot of fun recording in my life, but the ukulele is really inspiring with this this new fresh voice of of its very own, and I've just really been drawn to it. It's time to slow down, breathe, and just make So I used to go into the big studios. I would save a ton of money and go into the big studios, the big multi-tracking studios, and hire musicians to play along with me, spend a lot of money on mixing it all. Uh, and while that is still an incredible way, that is the best way, obviously, uh, if you have all the money in the world that you can do that, that is, of course, the, the pinnacle of recording. But with the advent of all these great recording platforms, you can do things in the privacy of your own home. You can take as long as you want to uh, record something and perfect something. Uh, and there's great, there's great platforms available now. Uh, you can, of course, purchase uh, Pro Tools, digital performer, what have you. I used GarageBand for this recording and it's just been great. I've used Pro Tools in the past and GarageBand just did a a really, really nice job. So I can't say enough good about that. It was fun. Uh, It was just here on my desktop. The other thing that I did was invest in a nice microphone. It's not top of the line. It's a decent microphone. It's a blue brand. It's, this is called a bluebird. I'm talking to you right now through it. And that records the instruments very, very nicely and your voice and percussion instruments.
So my favorite part of the recording process has got to be seeing the song take shape. When you write a song, you've got your ideas, you're trying to put them down, you're trying to have a great melody, you're trying to be true to the groove that you think the song should be in, something that really sells the idea of the song. But when you're actually taking it into the recording studio, anything can happen. I mean, it could totally metamorphosize into a different song entirely, or it can be absolutely more of what you originally thought. The thing is, it's always a surprise. And if you have enough of a, of a Zen beginner's mind and, and try to listen to what's happening and have fun with it, like you're a little kid in a paint box, uh, tons of great things can happen. That's just my favorite part. You just never know what you're going to encounter if you try a different groove or a different tempo or maybe even a different key. There's there's so many different variables that can go into uh, having having a, a lot of fun in the studio. So sometimes when you're recording, well, in my case, you know, I played really badly. <laughs> I'm kind of new to this instrument and, you know, I'm trying to get a part right, right? And it's not in the groove. Or I've got a string buzz or whatever. So that's the part that can be time consuming and you want to put something out that you're proud of and you want to get it right. So sometimes the hard part of recording is trying to get your ideas out and, and, and really putting your best foot forward to show off your song, to, to get something that you're going to be proud of listening to. This is going to be out in the world and it's going to come back to you. So you want it to be, you want it to be something that you're proud of. Mmm, shaker, shaker, ooh, oh, how to make a song, singer, singer, now. Without a doubt, my favorite, favorite song on this EP is Shaker, Shaker, the Shaker Laylee song. Mm -hmm. Totally inspired shaker, shaker. Ooh, by this little guy in song, Ohana's singer, singer, rhythm line, now. the Shaker Laylee. Mm -hmm. I can't say enough good about this little instrument. I've never played a shaker that had so many different voices before. If you turn this upside down, of course it's, first of all, it's in a great shape, right? We love this shape. Turn it upside down, it's got a short little shake. Okay, turn it the other way, a little longer shake, a little louder. Turn it sideways, whoa, you got a big shaker shaker. So use this all through the EP and uh, it's just it's just been great. I think it sounds so good because they've made it with great tone woods. This is spruce and mahogany. This is not plastic. This is a great instrument. Anyway, it inspired Shaka Shaka. It's my favorite. Singing and a strumming. What a way to go through life. Rocking. So I grew up playing my mother's piano. My mom was the first musician I heard. She still plays the piano. And when I was growing up, there was always a little soprano ukulele on top of the piano that she played in a school play in college. So it was just so cool to have that little ukulele close by and uh, didn't play it a whole lot. Just played the little three chords that I knew and then went off to school and that was that. Little did I know it was gonna become such a huge part of my life. It's a great instrument uh, for, for writing, for playing, for trying new things. And no matter what you want to use it for, uh, playing live, recording, if you wanna become familiar with GarageBand, uh, there's a free program called Audacity for PCs. Uh, you can practice and try new things when you're recording. I would encourage you just, just to dive in. Just, just do it. Turn the thing on, make a lot of tracks, get yourself a song. You don't have to write it. 
record any kind of song to kind of get familiar with the recording process. It's a lot of fun. It's very worthwhile. And I think it makes you a better musician, makes you a better singer, because you're going to hear back exactly what you put into it. As they say, the tape don't lie. (laughs) So I have in my hands part of Ohana's rhythm line. We talked about the shaker lele. And this is the bongo lele, which is exactly what the name says. It's it's a ukulele shaped bongo drum. How cool is that? Has all these different pitches around it. There's even a different one in the middle. Very, very well designed. Thank you again, Daniel Ho. So there's a song on the EP called Bongo Lele Baby. It's a little more of a dance number, and the Shaker Lele song is a little bit more of a beachy, beachy song. So I sure hope you enjoy it. And once again, I have to thank, from the bottom of my heart, Ohana, for supporting my musical habit. Thank you so very, very much. Mahalo, and thank you all for watching. to the left